Michael Jordan, A Profile in Failure by Jeff Steibel, 2017. Jeff Steibel is a brain scientist, author, and businessman. With his partner, Cole Bryant, he founded Bryant Steibel to support others starting new businesses. In this text, Steibel discusses Michael Jordan's failures. In this lesson, you'll practice identifying an author's central idea and how they support it. This means paying attention to the evidence and reasons they give for their idea. As you read, make note of the details and support the author's central idea about failure and success. Paragraph 1. Michael Jordan needs no introduction. Something of a legend for turning failure into success, he is the author of the longest quote on my company's failure wall, which was tricky to paint, but worth the extra effort. Here's his quote, Michael Jordan's. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. At the bottom of the page, vocabulary words. Critique, to examine, oops, to examine carefully or call out mistakes and errors. Analogy, it's a noun, a comparison between two things. Chips are down. Chips are down means when, it, when in a difficult or dangerous situation. Varsity is a noun. The first string team in a particular sport at a particular school. Back to the third paragraph. Most of us don't fail or succeed in the glare of a national spotlight, much less do it thousands of times, with analysis endlessly critiquing every move. Perhaps that's why people love sports. They provide a black and white analogy for the gray back backdrop of life. The ball is in or it's out. The basket is made or missed. The game is won or lost. Watching our favorite stars pull through when the chips are down inspires us to do the same in our lives. And no one has inspired us more, no one has inspired more sports fans, young and old alike, than Michael Jordan. The story of Michael Jordan was not making his high school team has the story of Michael Jordan not making his high school team has been told and retold, but continues to inspire with each retelling. In 1978, sophomore Michael Jordan tried out for the varsity basketball team at Laney High School. When the list was posted, Jordan's name wasn't on it. Instead, he was asked to play on the junior varsity team. The reason behind the choice wasn't that Jordan didn't have enough talent or hadn't already distinguished himself as an outstanding basketball player. Rather, it came down to seniority, size, and strategic decision. The varsity team already had 11 seniors and three juniors. That left space for only one more player, and the coaches chose another sophomore, Jordan's friend Leroy Smith. Smith was not as good as Jordan, but he added size to the team as he was 6'6 compared to Jordan's diminutive 5 foot 10 inches. What's more, the coaches knew that if Jordan had been chosen for the varsity team, he would play only when needed as a substitute for more senior varsity players. On the junior varsity team, he would get more playing time and a chance to truly develop. It was perfectly logical choice for the coaches to assign Jordan to the junior varsity team for his sophomore year. But 15-year-old Jordan was devastated when the list posted without his name. In his mind, it was the ultimate defeat, the ultimate failure. I went to my room and closed the door and I cried. For a while, I couldn't stop. Even though there was no one else home at the time, I kept the door shut. It was important to me that no one hear me or see me. Jordan was heartbroken and ready to give up the sport altogether until his mother convinced him otherwise. After picking himself up off the floor, Jordan did what champions do. He let his failures, failure and disappointment drive him to do better. He played on the junior varsity team and he worked himself to the limit. Whenever I was working out and got tired and I figured I ought to stop, I'd close my eyes and see the, the, list, in, the list in the locker room without my name on it. And that usually got me going again. It became apparent throughout Jordan's life that disappointment or setback resulted in redoubling of effort. High school rival player Kenny Gaddison, who led his team to beat Jordan's team for the high school state championship, put it this way. 
You got to understand what fuels that guy, what makes him great. For most people, the pain of loss is temporary. Jordan took that loss and held on to it. It's part of what made him. So at the bottom, uh, redoubling of efforts, number five, increasing your efforts as you try to do something. Humiliation, feeling of great embarrassment when one looks weak or silly. Impediment, a physical condition that makes speaking difficult. Prevalent, common for certain time, place, or group of people. Elite, belonging to a group with power due to money, knowledge, or special skills. Okay, paragraph nine. For most people, public failure becomes public humiliation and that leads to retreat. Fear of public speaking is a good example. Few people are psychologically afraid of speaking their mind and even fewer have physical speech impediments, preventing them from doing so. Yet glossophobia, the technical term for speech anxiety, is consistently ranked among the most prevalent mental disorders with a reputed 75% of the world's population experiencing some degree of anxiety around public speaking. Our fears have little to do with speaking, of course, and far more to do with perceived impact and reaction that our audience may have. But for Jordan and elite performers like him, the fear of failure and public ridicule is transformed into a drive for success. The pattern of defeat, followed by success, followed by Jordan to the University of North Carolina and later to the NBA, his relentless drive would lead him to break numerous records and become the most decorated player in the history of the NBA. What's more, he is credited with dramatically increasing the popularity of basketball both in the United States and internationally and inspiring the next generation of basketball players including LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Kobe Bryant. You can't think of the word champion without Michael Jordan.